Hello, this is Marvaz here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as England. So, let's continue where we left off and first thing I'm going to do is rush the Eiffel Tower. I changed Tyler's armies in London to focus on growth for a little bit to get more population because I'll need that for at least two more specialist slots. Anyway, Eiffel Tower first. I also started building Broadway in Nottingham. I should be able to hard build that. And I'm getting one more archaeologist in Hastings. I'll get the museum in Atlas Court, so that's two slots for artifacts. Meanwhile, let's go back to Shaka. I decided to just take Nobamba. I should be able to defend it. I have so many ships of the line that it shouldn't be a big problem. But I can always peace out with Shaka for 15 turns, if there's the need to. If I have to, I will. But perhaps... I'll be able to avoid that. Okay, that should be enough. And I'll use my logistics caravel. Because then I can move out of the city. So, create puppet. And get out of the city. I can get rid of that artillery. Okay, stay away. I actually captured a citadel. <laughs> Two citadels even. That's nice. This is a lot of units. But now I'm very close to Lundi. All I need is... Electronics, because that will give me battleships, and I will be able to attack Ulundi from here. I got plus one range on all my ships of the line, which means my battleships will have fertile range. And since I have logistics on all of them, I can move, attack Ulundi twice, then move back and do it with all my ships. Ulundi should be pretty easy to take once I get that. I can't do that with Amsterdam, unfortunately, but I can do it with Nostitan later. I can't do it with Persepolis. But I can capture at least two cities, mostly with my battleships. I should actually get at least one melee unit. I was going to build that armory first, but let's get a cavalry. Oh, and hey, I actually captured an antiquity site with Nabamba. Not bad. That will be a landmark. Anyway, let's get rid of that artillery before I do anything else. So... Like this, maybe move the Admiral. Like so. One more shot. How many more do I actually have here? Four more. Okay, then. I think I can get rid of that cavalry too. But let's see. That's seven movement points. I can move here. And then move this guy here. No, I need to move a bit more than this. Oh yeah, this guy doesn't have plus one range, right. But this is fine. Yeah, I think I can kill both without any problems. Easily, I can kill both. Bye. There's still a Lancer over here, but I'm pretty sure Shaka can't retake this on the next turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can't. Obviously, I can just keep taking the city, but I'd rather save all these buildings inside. That's a lot of buildings. Public school, university... Workshop. Seaport. Yeah, nice. Alright. So, what else can we do on this turn? That citadel will get pillaged. But I can't really prevent that from happening. Fortify until healed. I got that extra admiral in Canterbury. Chaka might still try to take Vilnius. Which means I'll need at least some units to protect it. Right, let's move these guys around a bit. Let's see, I can shoot once and then embark. One more time. I could have killed that rifleman, probably. It's fine. Alright, let's go back with all of these ships to repair them. Admiral will stay in Canterbury. I also got one more aluminum tile to the south of London. So that's nice. Not that I really need aluminum, but the more the better. And that's the turn done. So let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, he can't take it on this turn. There's the Eiffel Tower and a Great Scientist. I'll save that Scientist for now. I got two Great Scientists right now. They are worth just under 7,000 each. The plan is to pop them once I get closer to Electronics. Electronics is my goal right now for battleships. So I can save them for a bit, get more science out of them. Oh nice, extra city growth. That's actually quite useful. Istanbul. Yep. Right, as for the workers, get started on that road. 
I don't need the rod for connection. Well, actually, right now I kind of do. But the point is mostly to increase my mobility once I get that cavalry. Alright, you guys will stay here and repair. Like so. Alright. Fortify until healed. Back to Nobamba. I need to kill all the melee units around here, which shouldn't be too hard. And stay out of range of that artillery to the north. So first of all, this guy. The cavalry, because cavalry can move very quickly. Maybe move that army a little bit closer. Kill that. And next up, the lancer and the other artillery. Oh yeah, this guy... No, he does have plus one range. I just need to move. I can move that caravel out of the way. Let's see. So artillery first. How many more shots do I actually have? Quite a few. Kill the Lancer. What? He's not dead? Really? Alright. Fine. I have two more shots on this guy. And two more shots on this guy. I could move in here. That looks safe. I could actually attack the city. That's not a bad idea. Or some of these riflemen. Yeah, okay, attack the riflemen. Because otherwise they will attack either Vilnius or Nabamba. Shaka is already attacking Vilnius. But I should be able to defend it just with the longbowmen, I think. I should be able to. One rifleman can't take Vilnius. I could gift some units to Vilnius, but I don't really have any. At least, not ones that I don't need. Fortify until healed. Even though you probably won't do that. Let's move that caravel into Canterbury. I wouldn't want to lose it and it's literally at one hit point. If something breeds in its general direction, I lose it. Yes, stay here. Okay, I'm out of shots. So, anything else? Yes, city state 6 and I shall wonder. I don't have one, sorry. As for London, I will build the Brandenburg Gate. Shaka was building that earlier, but he's not doing it anymore. Mostly because I'm at war with him and I'm threatening his cities. I should be able to hard build the Brandenburg Gate. It's a decent wonder to have. London is a little bit far away from the front line. But I will get airports eventually. I'll probably need airports. So yeah, once I get electronics, radar will be the next goal for airports. Right, back to war. Well, he will try to retake the city, but he's not going to succeed. There's the promotion. That's the last plus one range that I needed, I think. So now I have how many ships of the line? I have seven ships of the line. Six ships of the line with logistics and plus one range. That's amazing. Right, let's kill these guys. These are the only two that I have to kill on this turn. So let's do that. Like so. Like so. I'm glad I got bombardment on all of these ships of the line, but that was kind of the whole point of actually picking bombardment. Kill this guy. And I could do some damage to the city. Or maybe get rid of that artillery over there. That seems like a good idea. Down it goes. And maybe move out. Move out of range of that artillery. There. That was my last shot. Yep, there's one more artillery down here. I guess I could move out of range. Alright, let's move out of range. To not give it any attacks against my ships of the line. There, I'm out of range now. The rifleman is too far away. Good. Keep building that road. It will stay there and repair. The extra admiral will stay inside the city. Let's kill that rifleman already. One more shot. Rip. And the artillery will wait. Okay, done. City connection established. To the Bamba. I'm getting 20 gold per turn, which isn't amazing, but it's okay. Could have been worse. Considering I don't really have a lot of good trade routes. 
like I do in many games. Chaka still wants Vilnius, apparently. <laughs> He's stubborn. I could kill some of these units with my ships on the line here. That's probably a good plan. First of all, let's get rid of that rifleman. Yeah, I need to focus on units that are threatening Nobamba first. So, that's the cavalry over there. Like so. And the rifleman. I would like to get rid of that artillery, but... I'm not sure if I'll have enough shots. Kill this guy. I need two more shots here, I think. Move in. Alright, he's down. What else? I got my longbowman. So do some damage up here. Can't kill that guy, unfortunately. Decent damage, though. I would upgrade this longbowman if I didn't need money for battleship upgrades. In fact, I need to build a few banks. I could get a bank in London in three turns, but that would delay the Brandenburg Gate. Still, I actually kind of need that. I really do. Does the last court have a bank? No, it does not. I'll prioritize that, maybe even over the public school, because I need the money. Anyway. Back to ships of the line, I got four more shots. So what do I want to kill? I could get rid of that artillery, but that would require three shots, from what I can see. Yeah, it would. I'll still do it. So, back up. To make some space. Move in like so. And he will go down. Okay. Vilnius isn't really as important. Shaka might be able to take that on the next turn. I could technically just peace out for 15 turns right now. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. I could then repair these citadels. And get some units there. I can't get replaceable parts right now if I really want to. I got two great Santis. Yeah, that's not a bad plan. I might actually do that. He might have enough damage here to retake Vilnius. The city doesn't even have city walls right now and there's artillery in range. Will Shaka pay me for a piece? Probably not, but I took his city. Oh, he's not even going to negotiate. Alright, never mind. That's not really an option then. Let's move some of these ships towards Nobamba. I mean, towards Vilnius, in case I'll have to retake it. Yep, let's move a bit more. Nobamba isn't really being threatened all that much anymore. Move the privateer as well. And keep removing the roads. Cargo ship, oh yeah. Shade route to Hull. Or to this city. That's 16 gold, a little bit better. 14 gold, yep, that's fine. Alright, next, let's see if he can take Vilnius. No. But he really wants to, apparently. I should focus on Vilnius a bit more. He's bringing a lot of units. Is he going to talk? No, he's not going to talk. Alright, whatever. Now, this is important. I need to kill the melee units. Can we do that? I'll probably have to retake Vilnius. Oh, nice. Promotion. Cover 2. I'll take that. Plus some population. Okay, Nabamba first, because that's a lot more important. I need to kill these four units. They have to go down. So this guy. This guy. These two will only take one shot each. So that's not a problem. There. And two more shots. Will be enough. Then I can focus on defending Vilnius. Like this. And like that. That's all the melee units gone. I obviously want to get rid of all that artillery, but... Let's focus on Vilnius. For a bit. So kill this guy. Not sure if I can kill this one. I probably can. But I have to back up. If I don't want to lose the longbowman, which I obviously don't. Move the Admiral. We'll get the bonus. Okay, one down. 
I can reach the artillery, or I can do damage to the rifleman. That probably makes more sense. Like so. He can probably take Vilnius on the next turn. I'll just retake it. I think that was my last shot. Yes, yes, plus some population. Oh yeah, oil connected for city-states. Interesting. I had three quests in city-states to connect oil. Alright. That was unexpected. Well, I think this turn is done. Maybe I should move out of the way of all that artillery. That seems like a good idea. Just to avoid taking damage. Alright, let's move out of the way then. There, that works. So, the oil well is done. Do I need any more improvements around here? Not really. I need that aluminum down there. But this worker can handle that. I'll need railroads in a few turns, so I'll send the worker to get ready for that. Move out of range of that artillery. Alright, looks like we're done. Next. I expect Shaka to take Vilnius on this turn, but that's okay. Oh, Sweden completed the Brandenburg Gate. Alright, fine. I guess that's not the end of the world. I don't really mind Sweden having it. Now I can finish that silly national epic and the bank. And then we'll see. And then I'll focus on military production, probably. Might be a good idea to get a constabulary. Oh, hey, maybe I can retake Vilnius with my longbowmen only. I could see that happening. Maybe. Yeah, I think I can. This should be enough. Liberate. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Alright. So, back to Nobamba. He's still throwing a lot of units at Nobamba. Which I don't really mind. I can kill them fast enough. I would like to start doing some damage to this city. That city would actually be pretty easy to capture once I get my cavalry in 8 turns. But we'll think about that once I get the cavalry. Meanwhile, kill that guy. Move out. We got yet another promotion. Supply. Rip. And target the artillery, I suppose. Artillery without cover. This guy has cover too. Well, I should probably kill that guy anyway. So I can leave my ships here without taking damage. There, down he goes. I got some more shots. Down you go. And that rifleman. There. That was the last one, I think. Yep, looks like it. I would upgrade the caravel, but I'm saving money. For battleship upgrades. And that's a very expensive upgrade too. 400 gold. For an upgrade that isn't really necessary. Nope. Won't be getting that. Fortify. Move out of range of that artillery, maybe. Done. And remove this road next. I might go harass Shaka again once I repair these frigates. Perhaps. We'll see. Two frigates can't really do a whole lot, but I can pillage some of his improvements. He has pearls over there, so I can pillage that. Anyway, Nobamba looks safe-ish. Is he going to talk? I just want to check. Nope. But we got a policy, or a tenet rather. I could pick up sovereignty to get more gold, but there are so many really good level 2 tenets here. Let's see. I'll probably go for 5 year plan. That will give me a lot of extra production. Yeah, let's go for that. 97 production in London, nice. 81 in Nottingham. I must have saved at least 3 or 4 turns on that Broadway by taking this policy. Alright, next. The only thing Shaka could take Nabamba with would be either a Lancer or Cavalry right now. And he does have a Cavalry in Nolondi right now. Is he going to talk? No, he's not going to talk. Okay. Let's see. I have to get rid of that artillery. And this artillery. Rip. That was a promotion on the longbowmen. Alright then. Let's have a look. 
He might be able to retake it. Obviously, I can take it back instantly, but I lost buildings and population. I'll try to avoid that. But I obviously can't kill that cavalry in Nulondi right now. Anyway. First of all, that rifleman. He has to go down. For obvious reasons. Then I can kill some artillery. Move closer. The more the better. Unfortunately, some of them have cover too, which is pretty annoying. This one has cover one only. But that's still not enough. Great. Alright. I need to finish them off. Unfortunately. There. Anything else? I got two more attacks. So kill this guy. And... Attack one of these. Alright. Let's move that logistics caravel towards the Bamba, because I'll probably have to retake it on the next turn, that's what I expect. Work about? Oh yeah, for the fish. That was a plantation. Finish that road then. So, remove and remove. 1500 gold, not bad, but I'll need a lot more than this. Aluminum is done. Now I just wait for railroad. How much science are the scientists worth right now? Almost 7,000. Nice. Yep, it will be going up. I just finished some of my public schools recently. As for you guys, you can go west again to harass Shaka. It might make Shaka use some of the land units to defend these cities if I start attacking them. So it might help my general war in this area. Plus one population. Okay. Oh yeah, I got one more ship of the line. Is this in range to actually attack anything? Yep, it is. Eight movement points. So five if I go here. I can't really move this out of the way. If I do, it will be in range of all that artillery. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Kill this. Oh, I can't reach it. Great. Never mind. Okay, these two guys do not have cover too. Shaka is actually taking minus 10% penalty right now. Yep, he's at minus 5. And that's without public opinion pressure. Ideology pressure, whatever. If I can give him some ideology pressure, He's just going to collapse completely. That would be the long-term plan. But it's not so easy to execute. One of the reasons why I wanted the Eiffel Tower and the Broadway to get some ideology pressure on Shaka. Should be doable. Six more turns to finish that cavalry. How's my tourism right now? Oh yeah, I can get the museum bonus. Let's see. Can I? Should be able to. Hold on, what do I need for this again? Both from civilizations... Oh yeah, same era, right, I remember. So... I need to trade something. Wait, I'm not sure if I can get that bonus. I can't actually get that bonus, that's funny. I can get plus one, but that's about it. Yep, I can only get plus one. Alright, fine. That's still 29. Tourism. Oh, he didn't take Nabamba because he's silly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that cavalry was in range to take Nabamba. It had to be. Yeah, especially with this road. But AI is silly. Another promotion. Oh yeah, logistics, right. That was the last longwoman that needed logistics. Okay. Let's just move them east towards Nodwengo. Well, at least Shaka is not attacking Vilnius anymore. He gave up on that. <laughs> How many times did he try to take it? Way too many. Okay, keep moving west. Might want to be careful though. Because I might run into some privateers. 
Which I don't mind. I could capture a few more. Come on, guys. Keep moving. How's the scientist? 7,000. Nice. Getting railroad will give me instant production boost in most of my cities. In almost every single of my cities, because they are all connected through harbors. I don't even need any railroads. Right. How's Shaka's military strength now? Let's have a look. 266k, but he's slowly running out of units to throw at me, that's pretty obvious. And I can use City Bombardment now. Finally. Okay, kill this guy. Kill this guy. Nice, two shots. I really want to repair these citadels, but I probably can't do it while we're at war. Or at least it won't be easy or simple. Next. Yep. Down they go. Now I can start attacking Nodwengo. I will take Nodwengo because that will make taking Amsterdam much easier. He built three citadels over here. That's weird. But alright. Whatever flaws his boat. Oh, can I get vision on that city easily? Yep, like this, I suppose. Alright, let's start attacking it. That might force him to move some units towards that city to defend it. Which is fine by me. Okay, move... I would prefer to not move into Nobamba just yet. That doesn't look entirely safe. Okay, done. Not Caravel. Admiral can stay in Canterbury. I'll save or keep one privateer in this general area. Just in case. And we're done. Maybe I should remove some of this jungle. Actually, I could build a road. Just to make moving around faster and easier. It will cost me some maintenance, but that's fine. I'll be able to move units from Istanbul through here very quickly. Instead of wasting two movement points to move through that jungle. And since I will take Nodwengo eventually, I can connect it through Vilnius. With a road. Then I won't have to embark. Yeah, Shaka is running out of steam, that's pretty obvious. Get that mine. Railroad is almost done. Now he sent that cavalry towards me. A little bit too late. Sorry. You will go down. Rip. And Lancer. And that's that. <laughs> now I can kill the artillery. This is a rather one-sided war. Is that one hit point? Yes, that's one hit point. Isn't going to save him. I got two more attacks. Rip. And I think that was the last one. I can actually attack Nodwengu from here, but if there's an artillery inside, that's not going to be very safe, let's just say. Probably better to stay out of range when I'm not sure if there's an artillery inside or not. Okay, no more shots here. That road is not quite done. The landmark is almost done. So that's nice. Four more turns to get the cavalry. And we got the archaeologist. Is that other archaeologist near Attila score done yet? No, not yet. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.